Good morning. Welcome to the Pastor's Corner. We're glad that you joined us this morning, whether it's early morning or whether it's uh, during the day. Uh, God has uh, some wisdom to share with us today. This this scripture in Proverbs chapter uh, eighteen, I mean ten, verse eighteen says this: He who conceals hatred has lying lips, and he who spreads slander is a fool. Boy, is this not applicable to our culture today, to our politics, to our culture, how we talk about other people, how we talk about different classes, how we talk about, oh my goodness, this is all here. Uh, he who conceals hatred has lying lips. Uh, even in our families, this is, is horrible. Um, and it was even in the first family. The first family, uh, Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. And Cain says, hey, let's go out in the field. And Abel thinking, hey, I'm going to go help my brother. He had some work that he needs done. Or maybe he's thinking, we're going out in the field to play. Let's have some fun. And while he's out there in the fields, uh, he is murdered by his brother. He who conceals hatred has a lying tongue. Uh, Cain had a lying tongue. Uh, when we conceal hatred to, for others, uh, our lips are lies. And, and these are both evil, hatred and, and lying lips. And the, the scriptures has for believers that they will know we are Christians by our love. Uh, when we hide hatred for a group of people or for a person, uh, we are not dealing with it. We're not putting our, our hearts at the foot of the cross where Jesus died and his blood is, is shed for all people, even the people that we are having a hard time getting along with. And the Lord says we need to deal with that hatred. Or otherwise, we become liars and that we become hypocrites. And we need to deal with that. And so today, if you have hatred in your heart, may the Lord uh, speak to you and 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 help you get over that hatred and replace it with only the love he can give. In this last section, it says, he who spreads slander is a fool. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How much slander have we seen on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat, wherever it is. There's so much slander all the way. When you turn on the television set, whether it's ABC, NBC, ABC, Fox, uh, MSNBC, there's just slander all over the place. And and as scripture says, he who spreads that is a fool. When you take slander and you and you hit copy and you post it on your Facebook page or Instagram or Snapchat, the scripture says you're a fool if you're sp spreading slander. And you say, well, it's true. It's true. Well, is it? Is it really true? Are you really spreading uh, what is true? Or are you spreading a version of, of the truth? Uh, a truth that leaves out facts, that leaves out partial of it. Um, both both sides, conservatives and and liberals, are both fools for sp spreading slander, and they're doing it all the time. And I ask you today, as you watch your news feeds, as you uh, over the, your your internet, I ask you to to ask the Holy Spirit to say, "Is this slander?" Should I be saying this? And I'm not talking about the self-righteous people who, <laughs> who think I'm right, so uh, I have the right to do that. You need to be sure <laughs> that the Holy Spirit is the one telling you to do it. Because if it's not, and you're spreading slander, the scripture says you're a fool. So help us not to be fools today, and help us not to be liars today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. Because, Lord, sometimes we just get caught up in our culture. We get caught up in, in today's world, and we think it's okay. And we forget that there is real judgment. And the, the judgment is if we spread, spread slander that we're a fool. If we hide the hatred in our heart that we are just liars. And, Lord, I pray that you would help us to really come to a place where we love all people. The scripture says love covers a multiple a multitude of sins. The scripture says also if, um, if we have love in our hearts, Lord, that our lives are transformed by, by Christ. And so, Father, I pray that you'd fill us with your spirit today and that we would live as wise people and not as fools. May we not sp spread slander and may we not lie today, but may we be a blessing to others. May we be encouraging 
And Lord, may your Holy Spirit empower us to love even in difficult situations. In Christ's name, amen. You have a good day, and may the Lord bless you.